Welcome to a new edition of Henberry Farm and all my stinking little homesteading projects. So today is September 8th. Um, London Bridge has fallen down. The Queen is dead. Sorry to hear that. So today is one of my um, projects where I am going to be collecting rainwater coming off this particular roof. I was thinking about doing this one, but these were too big to manage cutting a um, PVC pipe. I did check out prices on gutters versus PVC, PVC pipes and the gutters were way more expensive and they came in 10 foot strips and I could not put that in my little Toyota Corolla. So I went with the five foot PVC pipe. I purchased two five foot, oh look at the nice bird poop, uh, five foot one and a half inch PVC pipes. Oh, this was made in July, one and a half. Right there. One and a half. Right there. Okay. So, I need to be able to slice down in the middle here. I measured this. This, this I measured this gap right here. It's one half inch high. Hi, guys. God, have I told you guys how much I love these boys? Oh, my Donnie. He'd be so proud of them. So anyways, I have this downspout. Really? And on the other end, I have the cap off. So the water doesn't come out this way. Now what I've gone and done already was I've taken a, I took one of these saws. I can't think of the life for the life of me what it's called. One of these saws. Okay. No idea what it's called. Miter saw? No. Whatever. It's a pretty cool tool to use because you can go in any kind of direction and cut whatever you want. So what I did was I took <laughs> So I took that saw and I cut it down one half inch all the way down to the end. So now I'm going to slide it across this edge. I did have to cut the corner edges here and round them off so I could fit the cap on. And now I'm going to slide this on the edge here. I have it started and I'm going to slide it all the way down to the edge. Got it to the point where I can't uh, manually push this without some kind of intervention. Excuse me, sweet pea. in there and it's going to drain right into the pipe. The cap has been installed. I'll get some uh, some of that glue and cleanser stuff to put this on as well as this one. And now I have to get my five gallon bucket out here to measure how long the downspout pipe must be. Gotta be something like that coming off the ground. But let me go get my five gallon bucket. So I had one previous that I had made for the house and then I found out that I have shingles on the house. Shingles are made of asphalt, which is toxic. So I had to abort that whole project. Working with tin, it's a lot safer. I've got my bucket and my bucket with the cut lid could probably go find 
another lid that doesn't have the square bucket, but this was my original worksmanship. Um, for a while there, I was collecting black walnuts, and uh, so I'm gonna have to go bleach this out. I do need to put a rubber washing here, and then it'll pour out. I'm going to need about maybe two and a half feet of this pipe to drain into here. I'll be back after I've bleached and cleaned and sanitized this bucket. Pipe cut. O-rings for the spigot spot. And if that doesn't fit, I got a whole bunch of other ones. And bleach. Bleach to clean out that bucket. And did you know, this is like a gallon of bleach. Bleach is bleach, right? So, I got this at the dollar store for $1.25. <laughs> so now, really, everything used to be a dollar, now it's a dollar twenty-five. Twenty-five percent inflation? Come on! It, they should have just kept it at a dollar because everything they have on there is probably worth 25 cents to begin with. So, back to my project. I tell ya, these turkeys have so much more personality than a chicken. A chicken could be like, eh, I don't give a crap what you're doing. Turkeys are like, all up in your business. Right, Jack? Look. Look what I'm doing. You want to see this? Alright. Hi, Fiona. Puffed up he is. Oh. <laughs> Hi! You wanna see what I'm doing? You wanna see what I'm doing? You gonna come check it out too? <laughs> okay. So, I just need to put an O-ring on here and then screw this back in. O-ring installed under turkey supervision. You okay with that? You okay with this? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this back on here. As I fill this, I'm noticing a leak. So I know that there is put an O-ring on in this spot right here and hopefully that will decrease all the leakage. Well that came out pretty clean. And uh, all I gotta do is take that thing out, put a new uh, O-ring on, and then refill it up about yay high and make sure it doesn't leak again. What are you doing? Oh! You guys. Uh, I can see what you're gonna do. You're gonna take my O-rings and you're gonna run with them. Uh-huh. I know. Oh no. I'm gonna close these up. Maybe not. Hey, no! I decided to go with a drill bit. Big ass drill bit. Big ass hole. Still ain't gonna cut it. So I'm gonna take it up there. Up, to, up front here and cut it with that funky saw. I still I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. Miter saw? No, it's not miter. It's not a circular. Damn! <laughs> My dad would be so disappointed. That. <laughs> so much fat. Jigsaw! That's what it is, a jigsaw. Jigsaw saw. Saw saw. Yes, see, the hole is here and it's done. It was done in like 30 seconds. So 
Now I will try and put the pipe through the hole. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, so it fits perfectly. I'm going to have to get some silicone on there to seal up that the gap. But yeah, that fits perfectly. Now I need to put the O-rings on these edges and test the water. O-ring on this side. Silicone. Silicone O-ring on this side. Now I'm going to fill it up about yay high to see if it drips. Moment of truth. And I got it leak coming out of the spigot where it's supposed to. This part is dry. Oh, no, it's not. Damn it. That's why freaking cracked. And now I gotta go find another five gallon food grade bucket. Great. So this project should have only taken me an hour or two hours, but knowing me, I never have the right stuff um, prepared. Yeah, I've either got to go in and out of the house to get the right tools or the right equipment or the right just stupid little things. And uh, since that bucket was cracked, um, at least my idea wasn't cracked and it was the bucket, so it was a malfunction. I feel so much better about that. I had to go out to tractor supply and get another food grade five gallon bucket. They had five gallon buckets at Walmart, but they didn't have the food grade. Usually they have the food grade, but they did not have the food grade. So, I'm treating myself to a Dairy Queen chocolate shake, just for the aggravation of having to go out and get another bucket. The drainage apparatus has been plugged in. What is she doing? Oh no, see how these turkey <laughs> oh goodness so anyways the o-ring is on here o-ring is in here and right now it is not cracked I've drilled it with a big drill bit so let me put this drainage thing back on here fill it up with water and see how it goes second moment of truth leaking at it's draining out the front so far I don't see any leaks by George I think we've got it let's go see this in action so I have this all set up the, the cabbage on this side the downspout into the bucket and out the side. So I've got the the spigot open. And would you look at that? That wasn't there this afternoon. So I'm gonna simulate a rainfall. I'll be able to capture quite a bit of water. So all I gotta do now is um, seal, uh, clean the edges here and seal it. Clean the edges here and seal it. And then add some kind of silicone buffer here to uh, keep for anything from going inside And that's draining out So I can dis dismantle this for Right now Perfect I'll be able to harvest some water should shit the fan and um and I can't access any water around here. Water harvesting system accomplished. Yes. Yay me. 
Yes, yay me. Everyone, please get prepped, do something to uh, prepare yourself for what's about to hit us. Um, energy prices are going to go through the roof. Uh, it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be a long, hard time coming. Um, and if you're at the store, pick up an extra couple cans of beans or a couple cans of green beans or something. Get some, get some water. It's going to be, it's going to be a long, hard time coming. Um, and if you're at the store, pick up an extra couple cans of beans or a couple cans of green beans or something. Get some, get some water. Make your own kind of watering filter. Uh, make your own kind of water harvesting system from one of your roofs that don't contain asphalt, shingles, um, metal roofs, tin roofs, plastic roofs. I've got a, a wooden roof over there with shingles on it, but I have it tarped. So that's actually plastic tarping. I wanted to start with something small and uh, knowing that I could do it and so I will tackle that one next. Yay me. Thank you for joining me on this uh, little extravaganza of a water, water harvesting uh, project. Have a great day. Take care.